Hello, everybody. I am RV Rebel Girl. This is my sidekick, Diva Danny, and we live in, in our RV, and we pull it with our Ford Transit van. Come and watch us on YouTube. You can see how we live and how we travel in the places we see. We'd love to see you. Please subscribe and like, and come visit our channel, RV Rebel Girl and Diva Danny. Thanks. One thing I like about when I'm in Florida, I get to go to Publix, and Publix has a scale. I'm not going to show you how much I weigh, but it's very accurate. So I like to weigh myself on that scale. Hmm. And here we go. Beautiful sunset at the Cecil Webb Babcock Ranch as I'm getting ready to leave. And I'm going to be going back, you know, going out to Boondockers. Welcome to a location uh, the day after Christmas. And here's my Christmas lights on Christmas Day. Well, actually, I should say Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day. And I put my lights, my solar lights out. I'm the only one here in this area. Around the corner, there are some people. There's my campfire in the distance for me and the gators. <clears throat> yeah, it was nice, pleasant, good weather, cool nights. A little damp from the humidity or the uh, condensation, but I love staying here. And I love the lights. Like having my lights out. I notice a lot of my friends that are still in Arizona are wearing coats. I'm so glad that I'm not wearing a coat. That I was able to ditch my coat once I got here. Yep, it's hanging in the back of the van. And hopefully I won't need to wear it again when I go back to the Midwest in the spring. But... But I still enjoy sitting by the fire and staying warm because it's not too hot for a campfire. Actually, it's never too hot for a campfire for me. I love my campfires. It's great sitting around it. You just don't get too close if it's hot out at night. <laughs> anyway. So, um, I'm going to be on my way here and going to pack everything up tomorrow. Yep, there's my camper, Annie and I. And then on Christmas Day, the people came out on their big hunting uh, 4 by 4 Hi RV, Rebel Watchers and YouTubers. I hope you had a Merry Christmas. It's the day after Christmas. It's Sunday fun day, but it's moving day for me. So, oops. So stay tuned and see where I'm going. Coming up next, I am pulling out right now. And let's see if I can show you. I'm pulling out, you can see right here, from the Cecil Webb Babcock Ranch Wildlife Management Area. And um, I did do a whole lot of sightseeing video here because, because, I've already taken you here. I was here for like a month and a half with uh, Nomads in Paradise meetup. And I'm going to put those videos up there for here. Right here, I'll give you a picture of the thumbnail that you can go and look for in my playlist from two years ago. Or you can kind of like search for them if you want to watch them. If I can do it later on i'll put a link up there for you uh heard the alligators but didn't see any this time and it is hunting season here small game they caught like 101 um quails some deer some coyotes they shot um and hogs they call them hogs, you know. So this is a season for hunting. You can hunt here and stay here. And a lot of people park their campers and leave them up here for like two months, depending on the camping license that they have. So, but, and some people just come and fish on a little lake over here, Webb Lake, or in the swamp. Oh, and they have a gun range. I think I told you that. They have a gang, gun range. And uh, you can come out here and shoot for five bucks. You can use the range. Yep. 
But anyway, I'm on my way to Boondockers Welcome. I am a Boondockers Welcome affiliate. I have been for a couple of years, but you know, um, Boondockers Welcome is now owned by Harvest Hosts, but I am st uh, an affiliate. I re reinstated my affiliate status and I'll put a link for that for you. I'm going to try to put a link up here for that if you're interested. If not, I will put a link down in the description down below. I think it's going to be on this side down here. You know, there's that little drop down menu. But um, if you're interested, Boondockers Welcome is only $50 for the year, whole year, 365 days. And um, it costs you, if you're going to pay for an RV park, it costs you more than that just to dump your tanks. If you got to pay to dump your tanks, if you're not staying in a park and you're boondocking. So, um, if you are looking for a place to stay in an area that may not have a lot of free boondocking places available, that's what you should check it out. You should check it out. Like if I was in Arizona, um, you know, when I am in Arizona, I like to I like to just boondock out in the desert. I'm self-contained. You got to be self-contained when you go to Boondockers Welcome. So, if I'm in an area that it doesn't have BLM land or doesn't have state trust land or state forest or things I can boondock or camp at for a reasonably very low price, like almost free, I go to Boondockers Welcome. And Boondockers Welcome is only 50 bucks for the whole entire year. You could stay like five days at a time in a hosts at a host someone who's hosting their property at their property if that's what they're allowing you it depends sometimes people give you one night stays people give you two nights stay three nights stay it depends on what they're allowing you to stay so um, with that in mind maybe you want to think about it uh, they're not getting you know you for protection of the homeowner and for privacy you will not know where the property is at until you're a member and you've been accepted to go and camp at their house. You know, people aren't just going to say, hey, you know, because they don't want uh, strangers just showing up. You cannot just show up to the property. You have to send them a request. And that's how it works. Well, I parked at my Boondockers Welcome location. I got all set up and unhitched. And I made myself a keto dinner here tomorrow i'll take pictures of my camp and show it to you so i'm staying at one of the um, best boonockers welcome places she is a hall of fame host her and her husband and this is in florida they have had probably i think almost close to 300 visitors who have camped in their yard due to their generosity. There's my camp. I've stayed here several times. I was cleaning out my van and organizing from my trip. Sometimes when you get ready to leave, you just kind of throw everything in the your vehicle and hit the road. They have a nice pool. And as you can see right now, there's probably six of us or seven of us camped here. She has a huge yard. And I really enjoy staying here. It's a nice, safe place. I'm actually boondocking. I'm not hooked up to any power, but I love it. And I'm able to run my generator all night if I need to. But I am. I try to be conscientious and turn it off, you know, before I go to bed and not run it all night. There's my camp. See over there? That is my UFO light. Um, I'm letting, I'm shedding a little light on that young man who's working on his car. I brought that over there for him so he could use my light to work on his truck. And they're here with their kids. I got my solar lights on. 
This is a boondockers welcome. Oh, and look at this, our hostess with the mostest. She's got a fire going for the kids and lights and they're roasting marshmallows. You can tell she was a school teacher. How nice. Lots of fire. Look at that. It's the Beautiful the campfire. Falling down, I will keep on searching for my eyes. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.